attention has been given to these areas. This is a serious violation of the Dayton agreements. It is an attempt, we believe, to undermine the peace process, especially the integration of Sarajevo. It should be responded to with the proper uh, manner. These are not um, isolated incidents. In fact, we have a pattern here that has been established in a terrorization of the population, and I think I4 must respond to that. <laughs> After all, what is I4 here for then, if they are in fact not to enforce <coughs> the most basic aspect of this agreement, which is freedom of movement, and that is part of the military agreement. You can't have someone advocating that there is freedom of movement and then not taking the responsibility for ensuring that in fact it does exist. Because what happens then is you invite innocent, trusting civilians to believe in the commitments and promises that are made and not be given the necessary protection for those promises, commitments to be in fact kept. In view of the fact that Elija and the Elija Kiselyak Road are to be part of the Federation, and in view of uh, Elijah Hajit Road, in view of the fact that these are lifelines to Sarajevo, we, I think, can see the consequences of this situation. That is, that Sarajevo still is besieged. December, three buses were attacked 